here we go with the Trumpies in my comment section. Your opinion is that those facts don't matter. And my opinion is that those facts are bad. That's it. We're gonna check in on some of our influencer friends from TikTok because they're still not coping well with Trump's win and they are lashing out. Here's one particularly obnoxious video from a woman named Maddie who has tens of millions of followers on TikTok. Maddie, I respect your opinion. How come you can't respect mine? Good question. I think you, you should be able to. Because there's a difference between opinions and facts. And let me guess, all your opinions are facts and all the people who disagree with you just have opinions that are based on non-facts. Sure. Trump's a convicted felon. That's a fact. Technically, yes, although that conviction may soon be overturned. But he was convicted of trumped up felony charges by a highly partisan district attorney in New York over bookkeeping offenses. And even many liberal and progressive legal analysts thought the legal case behind these charges was far-fetched. Why would Americans care about him being convicted of that when there are so many more important issues in our politics that actually affect their day-to-day -day lives? He has women. That's a fact. Um, no, it isn't. It's an allegation and an incredibly serious and concerning one, but he has never been criminally convicted of any charge relating to the abuse of women. And we do believe in innocent until proven guilty in this country, my dear. He has direct ties to people involved with Project 2025. That is a fact. Yes, Trump has ties to some of the people involved in Project 2025. He's also repeatedly crapped all over it, said he doesn't support it, and released his own agenda that's very different from Project 2025 in a whole host of ways, from gay marriage to IVF and beyond. So not sure what your point is. Your opinion is that those facts don't matter. And my opinion is that those facts are bad. That's it. Maddie, do you really think the world is as simple as your opinions are based on fact and everyone who disagrees with you just doesn't care about facts? Because there are so many facts that cut in the other direction. Inflation skyrocketed under the Biden-Harris administration and they fueled it with massive stimulus spending. That's a fact. The border turned into an outright crisis under the Biden-Harris administration after they changed tons of Trump's immigration policies. That's a fact. 13 U.S. service members died as a direct result of the Biden-Harris administration's botched Afghanistan withdrawal. That's also a fact. Now, there are plenty of other facts that cut against Trump or cut in Biden and Harris's favor, but to try to distill down our political debate into facts versus non-facts is kindergarten level logic. And the fact that you would have such a shallow understanding of politics, but also be so close-minded as to want to discard or block or unfollow people who disagree with you or condemn them all is really really unfortunate. Up next, we've got to check in with another one of our TikToker friends because Spence Wah is absolutely losing it over the election and lashing out at his followers. <laughs> Here's what he posted in advance of the election that people are now trolling him for. If you won't accept Trump as your president, then leave. Okay. Like, you didn't have to tell me twice. Like, I was planning on leaving anyways. Remember that. Guys, remember that one. He's planning on leaving anyways. Bye, girl. Don't let the door hit ya. Like, was that supposed to be threatening? Was that supposed to be your way of one-upping me? Because in reality, you're just telling me something I've already thought about doing. Trump is a scary f***ing man. Like, he is terrifying. So if he becomes president, I have no problem leaving. If I saw Trump approaching me on the street, I would run in the opposite direction. My fight or flight would kick in and I'd turn into you saying Bolt. He's literally talked about starting all out wars, getting rid of the LGBTQ plus community, destroying reproductive care, getting rid of immigrants. Even though this country was literally built by immigrants. What? what Trump started no new wars as president last time and says he wants to negotiate ends to some of the conflicts the US is currently involved in. In getting rid of the LGBT community? Spencer, what are you talking about? Trump is pro-gay marriage and appointed high-level gay officials to his administration last time around. He does favor some restrictions on transgender issues, but nobody's talking about getting rid of anyone. You need to touch grass. As far as destroying reproductive care, Trump is pro-IVF and wants to make it available to all taxpayers, actually, and says he does not favor a federal abortion ban and wants to leave it to the states. So not sure what you're on about, but okay. And getting rid of immigrants is such an absurd thing to say. You are conflating legal, lawful immigrants with illegal immigrants, with undocumented immigrants. Those are not the same thing. And it's actually really offensive to legal immigrants for you to suggest otherwise. 
Now, I don't support Trump's plans for mass deportations. I think deportations should be targeted and focused on people who are actively harming the communities that they're in. But it's not too much to ask that when you critique Trump's immigration views, you remain tethered to reality, at least somewhat. Moral of the story, I don't feel safe around Trump. Kamala, on the other hand, I literally, I look at her and I feel safer. If I saw Kamala Harris walking in my general direction on the street, the Secret Service would literally have to stop me from running into her arms and having her hold me like a baby. Um... Spencer, that's not normal. If you like Kamala, fine. If you voted for Kamala, fine. But like, that's not a normal level of emotional relationship or attachment to have to a politician. Now, of course, now that Trump has won, people are trolling Spencer and asking him when he's buying his plane ticket, when he's going, when he's following through on his clear promise to leave the country if Trump wins. And he's suddenly obfuscating or kind of making it sound like, well, I was just saying maybe, or little dull, while also wishing terrible things on Trump supporters. Here we f***ing go with the Trumpies in my comment section. I mentioned the other day that if Trump got reelected as president, I have no problem leaving the country. Well, no, you didn't say I have no problem doing it. Well, you did say that, but you also said, yeah, I'm planning on doing it. So now people, and it's not all Trump supporters, it's also people like me, are checking in to ask how your plans are going, when you'll be following through on these promises, because we're sick of annoying liberal people whining and complaining about how they're going to flee the country if Trump wins, and they never do. It's not unreasonable for people to ask that you actually practice what you preach when you're an influencer who reaches millions of people online every day. And the second Trump got reelected, my comment section started looking like this. Hey, so did you book that flight? So are you leaving or what? Are you not leaving this country? When are you leaving? Did you pack your bags? Pack your bags. Book that flight, buddy. When you leave. First of all, Trump isn't in office yet. We still have until January. Second of all, clearly I haven't packed my bags and left the country yet. But I'm not surprised that you Trumpies would think that the second that man got reelected, I'd be flying out of the country first thing. Considering half of you can't read above the first grade reading level. Yeah, Trump supporters just can't read. They're just illiterate. How many times do they have to lose before the liberal elites realize that their elitism and arrogance and smugness is exactly why so many people from such diverse walks of life are all trending towards Trump? But keep insulting everyone, looking down on everyone. It's working out great for you. However, if I didn't make myself clear before, let me reiterate. I said I have no problem leaving if Trump is reelected. And bitch, I meant that. I've already been looking up working visas in other countries. I've also been getting in contact with friends from other countries. Good, go and don't come back. Let's replace you with an immigrant who wants to come to this country and work hard and loves America and will add more value to our country than hysterical screaming into the camera with unhinged propaganda. Now, here's where this video gets really, frankly, evil. But if anybody should be leaving, or I guess the proper term would be evacuating, it should be you guys. Because it looks like there's a hurricane coming your way. And you know, I hate to say it, but it looks like Hurricane Raphael is gonna be touching down in a lot of red states. And I'm sure a lot of you airheads are still under the impression that these Democrats are the ones that made a weather machine to destroy the red states. But bitch, nobody has time for that. But you know who does have time for that? God. If this isn't a divine sign from the Lord himself, I don't know what is. Um... Babe, this is actually evil. You just gleefully took joy out of the fact that a natural disaster is heading the way of people who disagree with you politically, including 40% out of them who didn't vote for Trump, by the way, and tons of children below voting age. And regardless, just because people voted differently than you doesn't mean they deserve to have their homes destroyed or be killed in a natural disaster. That's actually evil. Have you no empathy or compassion for your fellow Americans at all anymore? And to say it's a sign from God not only is really ridiculous and offensive, also makes no sense because presumably God's hand is at work in the presidential election, if you believe in that kind of thing. The truth is you're just engaging in low IQ, hateful trolling because of your distorted political worldview that you've formed through consumption of incoherent propaganda. So yeah, people are following up to see if you're gonna leave the country like you said you would, because we would all be better off. That's just my take. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below of these influencers and how they're coping and do hit that like button to reward my suffering. Uh,